I'm glad I met wonderful you. Wonderful is the only word for you. You wonderful you. You wonderful you. I can't forget you. Isn't it grand you. to find what love can do? You wonderful you. You wonderful you. You're like a breath Tell of spring. A whole new thing. All the pretty things I want to hear And without much I ado I look at that. you and There stands love My arms around Isn't that what you. your arms are really for? That's wonderful too That's wonderful too I'm glad I found Looking you. around I found there are no you more Like you, 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 you. Oh, that, was, that was the Peters on the phone oh. the, the, the flower people they, uh, they're coming over here in, in a few minutes. They are? Yeah. Honey, I hate to have to tell you this. We have the wrong uh, flowers. <laughs> Bob, is something bothering you? No, honey, I, I, just, I love you very much. <laughs> honey, how, how much do you like that baby? Already. Oh, honey, I'm not getting... Oh, that Dr. Spock knows everything that man is... He doesn't know everything in the whole world. For instance, he doesn't know that you are one in 50 million. Thank you, darling. Don't thank me. <laughs> Laura, did you know that one out of every 50 million women has the wrong baby? Well, that's a cute trick. How does she manage it? <laughs> honey, she doesn't have a while she's had. Bob, are you trying to tell me that we have the wrong baby? You're crazy. Honey, keep calm. Oh, I'm perfectly calm, except that I'm a little worried about you. Darling, why don't you eat something? Honey, I have eaten. <laughs> Honey, I can take it. I can take it. Don't. That, our baby is probably just as, as cute as that one is. Oh, will you stop? Where did you ever get such a crazy idea? At the hospital. That's where we got it. We got the wrong flowers. You forgot about the blueberry tarts and the rice pudding pretty fast, didn't you? Not to mention dried figs. Dried Rob, this is our baby, and that's all there is to it. Honey, he doesn't even look like us. Rob. You see? All I see is our baby with a blue foot. <laughs> what is that, Rob? Uh, uh, ink. How did it get there? Jerry and I put it on. Why? We're well, just running a series of tests. <laughs> that are going to convince me that is not our baby. Oh, honey, I don't blame you. You can't face the facts. Poor kid. Oh, Rob. Well, honey, that's probably the Peters now. Brace yourself. Rob, nobody is taking this baby. Do you hear me? Nobody. Well, I think it'd be better if you went to your room. I can handle it. I am staying right here. Hi. We're Mr. and Mrs. Peters. Uh, uh, come in. <laughs> Figs and you have... Rob, we'd better drive right back. I think you've caught a cold. You're shivering. Well, it's a family trait. All the male members of my family shiver when they're about to propose marriage. Is that what you're about to do? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Laura, will you marry me? You want me to marry you? Yeah, very much. Oh. <laughs> You're shivering. Well, all the female members of my family react this way when they accept marriage proposals. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Alan Brady just put me through the most humiliating day of my life. Ooh, that Alan Brady. He thinks he owns you. He makes me so mad. Honey, it's not all Alan's fault. Rob, how come we can't ever be mad together? Huh? Well, a few minutes ago, you were furious with Alan, and now that I'm mad at him with you, you're not anymore. Well, no, it's, it isn't all his fault, honey. It's only half his fault. I'm a dope. Darling, I think you better make up your mind who you're mad at, Alan or yourself. Well, I'm this half mad at Alan, and this half's mad at me. Oh, honey. Just kiss Alan's side. Morning, honey. 
What do you mean by that? <laughs> it may be a good morning for you, but it wasn't for me. You didn't have to clean up the mess that this one made when he decided to finger paint all over the bathroom mirror with the toothpaste. And you don't have to be concerned at all about the fact that the cleaning woman isn't coming today and you have five people coming for lunch. Sure, go ahead. Good morning. Why not? <laughs> Honey, give me another chance. <laughs> I'll go out and come in again. I won't say good morning. I'll just wave as I go by. Millie, Laura's in the other room. Just a minute and I'll get her. Laura? It's Rob. Oh, no, I can't talk to him this way. Laura, you're being foolish. She'll be with you in a minute. You look beautiful. I look hideous. I disagree, but even if you do, he can't see you on the phone. <laughs> why I ever let you talk me into it. I can't stand the way I look. Rob will love it, you see. Hello, Rob? What? What did you say? Sing that again. Well, I don't think it was that good, but if you insist, I dreamed of Laura with the dark brown hair. <laughs> did you tell him about my hair? I didn't say anything but hello. Well, then why is he singing about my dark brown hair? I don't know. It's just a coincidence. Honey, what's going on there? Oh, uh, nothing, darling, nothing. Millie just asked me a question. Uh, what'd you call about? Well, nothing really. Well, you just called to sing about my hair? Well, actually, I called to tell you I love you, and... and I'd like to be your friend again. Well, you, you didn't call about my hair, then. I didn't call about your hair. Why would I do that? Well, I don't know. I pick up the phone, and there you are singing about my dark brown hair. I mean, Rob, do you really like my hair? I mean, really like my hair? Honey, I love your hair. Well, well honey, what if I were a blonde? Would I be as attractive to you if I were a blonde? Uh... I can picture you as a blonde, honey. No, wait a minute. Yes, I can. You know who you'd look like? Who? Harpo Marx. <laughs> he said I'd look like Harpo Marx. And I do. Honey. Honey. Why? Why? Well, yesterday morning, and I kissed you, and you said, don't do that. And you came down to breakfast, and you yucky shit. The doctor said you were to stay in bed. I'll prove to you that I am not sick. When you're sick, you haven't got any appetite, right? Right. And you can't taste anything. R Rob. That should prove there's nothing wrong with my sense of taste. That was the best chicken broth I ever tasted. That was warm salt water for you to gargle with. <laughs> Why, you... Tell me I'm overweight! Uh, honey, I didn't tell you were overweight. Well, I, just... I know what you're thinking. Why did you say it? Go on, out with it. Out what's on your mind. Tell me I'm overweight. Tell me you're sorry you ever married oh, no, me. Honey, I'm sorry. <laughs> If you don't trust me like you should, that's no good. If you won't take my best advice, I'm not nice. If you don't say you think that I'm okay, that isn't any way to be. What, what we need is good old harmony. Harmony. Without St. Paul, it's harmony. That's all. If you won't cheer me when I'm sad, that's too bad. If I can't ask for your last cent, I ain't no gin. And if I heard you wouldn't take my word, you'd have to face a third degree. What we need is perfect harmony. <laughs>